గుడి విని గుడి విని టీచర్ హౌ ఆర్ యు వెనెస్సా ఐ ఫైన్ గ్రేట్ ఎక్సలెంట్ హోయల్ గుడ్ ఈవినింగ్ హౌ ఆర్ యు ఐ ఫైన్ రెడీ ఫర్ ద క్లాస్ రెడీ excellent excellent so tell me vanessa how was your day um how do you say ocupada busy busy very very busy okay you can say i was very busy i was very busy oh really many activities yes in the morning i i have i have i had i had um a training um in line online online yes 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 uh, online training are like mm, difficult sometimes yes uh, but you know it's the new reality they call it yes yes we and interesting adapt. yeah we have to adapt yes oh, the similar good. the class yeah actually it's <laughs> like that yeah. yes i am in a training like that also and the problem is that you have to be on time because everybody connects mm -hmm. let's see what about you hoel how was your day Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Juan Carlos, how are you? Fine, teacher. What about you? I'm just great. Ready to start the class. Yes, teacher. Estoy probando el sonido de la computadora, pero siempre tengo... And that happens sometimes. El retorno. Yeah, me escucha bien? So so, actually so so. So so, okay. Okay, let's see. So Vanessa, where do you work? I'm sorry, Vanessa. Activate your microphone. Oh yes, you told me. I keep yes. on forgetting. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, no problem. No problem. Uh, and then um, Carlos Cruz. Yes. Oh. Yes. Uh, work together. He also. Uh, we work together. In uh, in Okay, say with me. We work together. We work together. That means that both of you work in the same company. Okay. Yes. Yes. So, But right. the different area. Areas. Are areas. Yes. Areas. Areas. So what's your area? Um, administration. 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 All right. Really interesting. Mm -hmm. So may, a lot of paperwork. Yes. Uh, yes. I don't like administration because of that. You have to have so many different things in mind. Yes. Yeah, I mean, it's, for me, that would be stressful. But it's necessary. Yeah, of course. I mean, it's, it's a very important part of the company. It's like, yes. well, all the parts of the company make it work. Like accountancy, accountancy is very important. Yes. Yeah. Hey, look, there's Adonai. He's connecting right now. That's great. We were missing him last class. Hello, Adonai. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm just great. Yeah, that's good. What about you? Ah, that's great. My day is very good. Oh, nice. That's a good attitude. A very good day. So tell me, Adonai, what happened to last class? We were missing <laughs> you. 
you. I have some trouble uh, in my house because uh, because, because it was Friday. No, no. In my in my case, it's not it's not it's the same. I work uh, Sunday and okay. Saturday. Well, I didn't want to tell you. Yo no le quería decir, but Vanessa told me no. Adonai must be in a party like. <laughs> no, no. Okay, but it's good that you are back in class. That's excellent. And remember, thank you, you thank you. You can check out the class in the YouTube list. Thank you, thank you. Okay, let's see. Thank you, Adonai. There's Janari. Hello, Janari. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. I'm very fine. Uh, I'm sorry for Friday. I disconnected because se me apagó el teléfono. <laughs> oh, my cell phone turned off. Okay, my cell phone turned off. Turn off. Well, actually, in that case, what happened was that your cell phone shoot, shoot down. Turn off. Mm -hmm. Actually, in your case, on Friday, the problem was that your cell phone shut down. Mm -hmm. Because you turn off with a switch, with a button. But mm -hmm. when they shut down, is you don't touch nothing. They just do it by themselves. Okay. Really well. The good thing is that you are here. Thank you, Janet. Is there Francisco? Francisco. Thank you, teacher. Oh, hello, how are you? Hi, good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you tonight? I feel very good. Okay, good. That's a nice attitude. Tell me, Francisco, uh, how was your day? Um, uh, my day is very um, nice. Nice. Uh, yes, because uh, this day is very relaxed in the world. Really? Monday yes. Are relaxing? Wow. Yes, in in the construction sector, it's very relaxed. Oh, really? It's a, it's because a slow the, day? Yes, it's very slow. Uh, Monday or Friday is very relaxed, but tomorrow, Wednesday and uh, Thursday is very stressful. Oh, really? What does your company do? Hi, good, good evening. Good evening, good evening. Uh, Sorry. No problem, Inda, no problem. <laughs> so tell me, Francisco, sorry, what does your company do? Oh, I, I, I am uh, work in supervisor of construction. Oh, really? Yes. Wow, so you are in the project supervising that everybody is working accordingly to the designs, the plans? That's correct, teacher. So you can read a plan? Yes. Oh, nice. Uh, I read the plans and I, I supervise the constructions and uh, uh, work in the computer, plans, etc. Okay. You know, from those plans, the only part that I that I can understand is the electricity plan and the and the hydraulic plan. Yes. I, I understand yes. those two. Just those two are the ones that I understand completely. Esos son los únicos que yo entiendo completamente. Or, but uh, other, uh, the architecture, applying uh, the architecture, uh, um, it's electricity. Yes, it's, 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 but it's complex. Yeah, I know, I know. I mean, electricity because it was my area and the, the ones from the plumbing, everything on plumbing because I learned how to. I used to install systems for, uh, uh, what do you call it, the, 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 the fire extinguish, extinguisher system. And oh. I, used, I also used to work with the pumps for the, for the cisterns. And so I know the installation, I know all the process, and I understand the plans, but just that area. So it's nice to know that you had a relaxing day today. Vanessa doesn't yeah. have that type of day, I think, because it's the end of the month. And the end of the month is like stressful. Let's see. Thank you very much, Francisco. There's Hilda. Hello, Hilda. How are you? Yeah. 
still die, cannot hear you. Hi, I'm sorry, but I have a problem with my computer buttons. Now okay. I could uh -huh. hear you. Believe me, I could. Okay, yes. so tell me, Hilda, how was your day? Ah, uh, fine. Mm, a little tighter, but I'm yes. um, fine. Mm -hmm. okay, I but did. you're home, relax. Yes, I'm relaxed. Uh, the Friday, the last Friday? Yes. I have a problem because I'm my, my aunt almost mother. Okay. Uh, she was sick. Oh. Uh, Oh, yes. yeah, you have to take to the hospital, to the doctor. Yes, the hospital, uh, Rosales Ho Hospital. Hospital. All night, all Ouch. night. Yes. yes. That's, mm -hmm. difficult. that's tiring. It's cansado. Yes. It uh, is tiring. Because uh, I was in my class there. Yes. Was we, were Friday, miss but... we miss you. Hold on just a second. Ouch. We were missing you. Well, good thing that you are here. Let's see, Angelica. Hello, thank you, Hilda. Hello, Angelica. How are you? Hello, teacher. Excellent. Excellent. Great. Tell me, Angelica, what do you do in your company? Uh, I am teacher, special special education teacher. Oh, really? Where do you work? Yeah. Uh, the school, nuestros pequeños hermanos. Where is it located? Uh, in San Salvador. Texas. Uh, uh, Texas. Texas Tepeque. Texas Tepeque, yes, right. Oh, really? That's nice. So you live in that area or you travel? I live in Santa Ana. Mm, very good, interesting. So special education, that's special. complex. I, I can't Yeah, I can tell that it's a complex area. Thank you very much, Angelica. Raquel, hello, Raquel. How are you? Hello. I excellent. Okay. I am or I'm excellent. I'm excellent. Perfect. Great. Tell me, Raquel, how was your day? Um, it's good. It was good. Right. What did you yes. do today? Um, I work. Uh, I am. Uh, I made the report. I made reports. Reports. Okay. Um, okay. I, I'll be. I'll clarify something. You can say I made the reports. The reports. If you are being specific, if the other person knows which reports you are talking about. Usted puede decir, I made the reports, si la otra persona sabe de qué reportes está hablando. But in this case, as you are just telling us that you were preparing reports, in general, you just say, I made reports. Okay. 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 Nice. Very well. Very well. Now, there's something that I've been hearing and I want to help you out with, guys. Uh, you use the word da. Can you see it? Let's see, let's do it this way, it's better. Uh, hold on just a second. Okay, look, you see this word? we have here the problem. And then we have the animal. Okay, this is the same word here and here. What is the difference? Okay, the difference is guys, that when this word is before a consonant, the pronunciation is the or the. When this word is before a vowel sound, the pronunciation is D. So the problem, the animal. So she was talking to me about the report. Okay? So we must be careful with that. You have the report, the animal, the 
student the apple okay so before a vowel you pronounce it d okay before a consonant you pronounce it the or da okay are we okay we get it yes yes teacher. yes perfect hello carlos how are you i cannot hear you Oh, Naya. Hello, teacher. How are you today? Uh, I'm fine. I'm just great. Tell me, Carlos, how was your day? Mm, my day was with a lot of work. Oh, really? What yes. did you do? Mm, I do one animation. I did. I I did uh, one animation. Yes, in the past. I okay. did uh, uh, one video. Video. Yes. Video. Uh, video. 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 Yes. Okay. And only. Just that. Yes, but uh, the it took time. Make, <laughs> make an animation is is compli complicado is complicated complicated okay good well now think about uh, uh, what tell me at least the general steps you follow to make an animation tell me at first least you that, open okay. the open the program okay cool which then, program do you use after the fix okay then after uh, well well first you have the archivos how do you say archivos file files, files yes in jpg or png okay that's the extension you yes but you have it uh, each one in in photoshop okay luego how do you say luego then then you uh, have a Paste this material Material. in After Effects, materials in After Effects, and you start uh, edit. Editing. Uh, you start editing. Files, files, to file, to file, to file, to file. Okay. Now, just a and... little something, Carlos. Listen to me. When you use the verb start, <laughs> and after that verb, you place another verb the following has to be in ing form si usted tiene el verbo start y después le va a poner otro verbo el verbo start quiere decir comenzar o iniciar si usted tiene el verbo start y después de este va a poner otro verbo ese verbo va a ir en ing all the okay. time okay okay so you start editing okay perfect thank you very much carlos it's very interesting Let's see, let's see. Hello, Silvia. Vanessa. Silvia. Hello, teacher. How are you? Uh, excellent. Excellent, good, that's a nice attitude. Tell me, Silvia, what did you do today? Um, I am... Um... Very boring. Today was a boring day for you? Yes. <laughs> okay. What did you do? Okay. Um, cleaning and is, what do you say? Estantes? Shelves. Uh, cleaning shelves. Okay. Uh, what else? Mm -hmm. Just that? Yes. Okay, yeah, it was like uh, repetitive. Mm. When you make something repetitive, mm -hmm. you can feel bored. Repetitive. I can understand. Well, thank you very much, <laughs> Silvia. Okay, guys, did you notice something? I was asking Carlos to explain to me the steps he follows to do something. Why? Because if you notice, when he was explaining to me the steps he takes, he says, first you uh, 
start the program, then open the files. If you can notice, let me see. Okay, let's see. If you could see, hold on. Okay, let's get out. If you can, if you could see, he told me. Oh, let's see. No, no, no. Uh, start the program. Then open the files. And then he told me, oh, start editing. Okay, if you notice, in this case, all these instructions, they begin with a verb. Usually, in English, when we start, when we are speaking, we usually, all the time, must have the subject, okay? Because in English, there's a difference from Spanish that in Spanish, sometimes we don't use the subject because it goes implicit in the in the verb, okay? Like, uh, imagine that I am talking to Vanessa and I tell Vanessa, uh, come usted pupusas, Vanessa? Oh, I can just say, come usted pupusas? And she says, no, I don't like them. Vanessa, oh, I like. oh yes. she says yes, I do. Okay. Yes, I like pupusas. Now, if you if you see when I say uh, in Spanish, in the verb I say come. Automatically, your brain understood I was talking. I was saying usted. I was saying you. But in English, we don't do that. How do we do it? Oh, we need all the time to place the subject. Okay. If it's a question, do you eat? Okay. Yes. If it's a normal, a regular sentence. Thanks, Vanessa. If it's a regular sentence, you say, uh, you study English. We always place the subject, but the only exception in English where we do not use a subject, it's with the something that is called the imperative. Okay, the commands. What are those, the imperative, the commands? Cuando nosotros damos indicaciones, órdenes. In English, we start the sentence right with the verb. Comenzamos la oración exactamente con el verbo, okay? We do not need to place the subject. What are those, the imperative? Oh, imagine that, uh, okay, let's see guys. I have a headache. What do you recommend me? Take a medicine. Take a medicine. Okay. What can I take for a headache? Mm, you can uh, take aspirin. Okay. Aspirin. Okay. You can aspirin. tell me. You can just tell me. Take an aspirin. Okay, guys. Now I got a problem. I have a stomachache. Please give me suggestions. You can you can take a a pectoral small. Okay. You can just tell me. Cuando es una persona de confianza simplemente le decimos take pepto. No. Take pepto small just like that. We don't need take to pepto. use we don't need to use the you no necesitamos utilizar el you. We can go straight with the verb because we are giving an instruction, an indication. Like, have you seen that little sign? Uh, today they are very common. The signs of no smoking. It says no smoking. Sometimes in, in some parks or perhaps in some companies, they got grass and algunas compañías tienen uh, the garden, they got grass, in el jardín, tienen grama, and there's a sign that says, don't step on the grass. Okay? Have you seen it? Ya hemos visto estos rotulitos, ¿verdad? Okay, it said, don't step on the grass. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have seen them? Yes. Okay, now, 
In that case, if you remember that sentence, when you see it, it says, don't step on the grass. Just like that. But you understand that they are talking directly to you, right? It doesn't have a subject, but automatically you understand that they are talking to you. Ese tipo de oraciones no tienen un sujeto, pero usted automáticamente ha entendido que están hablando con usted. Those are, those are part of the imperative. They are commands. Also, imagine that there's a new employee in the company. Sometimes that happens. They hire a new employee, contratan un nuevo empleado, and imagine that you have to tell, they assign you to tell that person the function, the obligations that that person is going to, to fulfill. Le dicen a usted, mire, por favor, usted lo va a entrenar, or you are going to give him the instruction. What do you do? Oh, you make a list. Okay? You say, okay, uh, we start working at 7 a.m. At 7.15, meeting. At 8 a.m., send emails. Check your email, okay? You are giving the instructions. When you give those instructions, those instructions are given without the need of the subject because they are imperatives. They are commands. They are instructions. So when you are saying instructions, you use the imperative. Let me show you a little something, okay? Let's see. Okie dokie. Okay, let's see. Uh, imperative, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Open your book. This is very simple, no? Don't step on the grass. That's another of the imperative. No smoking. If you can see, there is not a subject. Okay? There is not a subject here because your is a possessive, it's not the subject. So, but automatically you understand that they are the subject, even if though it's not written, it is you. Okay? So, in those situations, what we are doing is we are talking about imperative. Okay? Any question? Preguntas? We're clear? So, yes, so? Teacher. Yes, teacher. It's clear. So, so, says Roxana. Okay, let's do something. Don't worry, don't worry. That's why we have here, let's see, let's see, let's see. We are going to do it. Here is better. Okay, guys. Let's see. We are going to do this. Uh, let me tell you. When using imperatives we do not need the subject okay so what do i mean oh that in the sentence uh, you open the door this you it is not necessary we erase it and you still understand that we are talking to you en la oración you open the door i can erase puedo hacerme del you and still you understand the sentence y aún así entendemos la oración so we do not need the subject okay uh, clean your desk. Simple, no? What is the subject? Oh, the subject in this case is you. You clean your desk. Because usually what we have, the structure we follow is subject plus the verb plus plus the complement, okay? 
That's what we follow. Subject plus verb plus complement. But, as you can see, in this case, the subject can be erased. And in the sentence, we don't need it. So we can have just the verb and the complement. Is it clearer now? ¿Se entiende mejor ahora? Yes, teacher. Yes? Okay, perfect. So, that's why I was asking Carlos about the activities he performs in his company. But we're going to leave that aside for a few minutes. Vamos a dejar eso de lado unos minutos. Right now, we are going to talk about something else. Do you remember that at the beginning I told you about that I have a headache? Let's see. Um, tell me, Carlos, Mr. Carlos Cruz, I have a toothache. Please, man, what can I take for that? Take a garlic. I what? Take a garlic. Garlic? Drink a garlic. Yes, oh, really? garlic. It helps for the toothache? Yes. Hmm, that's new for me. Thank you. Very much. I actually have uh, some problems with my, with my wisdom teeth. Thank you. Now, let's see. Uh, Adonai. Hello, Adonai. Hello, tell me. You know what? I got a sore throat. What could you recommend me? Do you have a, do you take a one candy of halt to okay. refresh? Okay. Okay. And now let's see. Hilda, look. I have a problem, Hilda. And mm -hmm. my problem is that <laughs> I have a cough. What should I take? Uh, take a your medicine. Okay. How do you call that medicine for the cough? Uh, uh, take a... Uh, I don't know the... ECR. Look, the, look at, the chat, at the chat from Zoom, please. Cough, cough, syrup. Cough, syrup, actually. Cough, syrup. Okay? Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Remember, the most common are the most common medicines are cough syrup, uh, aspirin, uh, abroxol. <laughs> uh, that's that's been acetaminophen. That's uh, actually in the states, people they follow the brand Tylenol. Instead of mm. telling you acetaminophen, they are going to tell you Tylenol. Okay, that's a brand. It's a brand, but it's a very strong doses of acetaminophen. In the, why, why am I bringing this? Oh, because in medicines, you will always find the instructions. And the instructions, if you remember, when you read them, when you read the instruction of the medicine, I hope you do. Espero que de verdad lo hagamos. You read the instructions on the medicine. If you do it, you will see that all the instructions are Imperative, no subject. Also the instructions when you receive something that you have to, to construct in your house. Okay, like imagine that they send you something in a little box and you have to arm it. All the instructions are also imperatives. Okay, let's see. But we were talking about medicines and you need to remember something. Uh, they, some of those medicines are painkillers, okay? Painkillers. Painkillers are like uh, analgesicos, okay? Those are painkillers. If you see the word in the chat, you can notice. I wrote it, painkillers. In the chat, les puse esa palabra, painkiller. Those are analgesicos because they are they relieve the pain porque alivian el dolor ok now let's go back to what we were talking about the 
the instructions. Okay, guys, this is what we are going to do, okay? Think about your obligations in your company, okay? And what are you going to tell me? Oh, you are going to imagine that I am the new employee, okay? And, you're, and I am going to take over your position because you moved to a better one. Imagínense, you got prom promoted, okay? A ustedes los promovieron, okay? And I'm going to go there to get that position. So I need you to tell me, to give me the instructions of what am I going to do? Nos vamos a dar las instrucciones de qué es lo que la otra persona va a hacer. The other person is going to take your position, okay? You are not going to talk about anybody else's job. You are going to talk about your own job. Usted va a hablar sobre su trabajo. And what you are going to do is to explain to the other person his obligations. I'm going to divide you in, par in pairs and you are going to tell the other person, okay, uh, for doing the job, the position, for taking the position, you have to, and then you put in order the activities. I need you to tell the other person at least six different activities, okay? That's going to be your practice because then we are going to come back here and I'm going to start asking each of you to tell me, okay? Do you understand the instructions? Entendemos las instrucciones? You go to the breakout rooms, you explain to the other person the activities you do, okay? And then when we come back, that's going to be your practice. Esa va a ser su práctica, because when we come back here, you are going to tell them to me, okay? Ready, guys? Only activity the job, teacher? Yes, the activities from your job, the activities you do, because you are giving instructions, okay? I have a question, teacher. When... Just tell me. When come back to the breakout rooms, uh, I say the activities, activities, the other person, or my activities. Your activities. You are going to tell them to me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. They use the structure presentation. You yeah. have to, and then uh, you have to uh, check in at seven. Have meeting at seven fifteen. Check emails at from eight to nine. Call clients from nine to twelve. Visit okay. clients from one to three p.m. Okay. But I don't. I don't have the structure clear. You start the, the sentence with the verb. Usted lo que usted va a dar son instrucciones. Para dar instrucciones, usted comienza las oraciones siempre con el verbo. Ok. Ok. Like, open the door. Stand up. Esas son instrucciones, son commands. It's part of the imperative. Ok. They start exactly with the verb. And the other person automatically understands that you are talking, you are saying you. Cuando usted inicia directamente con el verbo en inglés, automáticamente se entiende que el sujeto de esa oración es you. Tú o usted. Okay, you know? okay. Perfect. Okay, guys. Let's jump in. Get into the group, please. Carlos Cruz y Juan Carlos Peña. En mí, en mí. Oh, yes. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, who's going to start? ¿Quién comienza? Really? Uh, I don't, I didn't understand very well. But... Okay, I will explain in Spanish one time, okay? Okay. 
estamos utilizando los commands, los imperatives. Los imperatives son oraciones que en inglés, bueno, que en cualquier idioma nos sirven para dar instrucciones. Cuando usted está dando instrucciones, usted utiliza, inicia las oraciones directamente con el verbo. El sujeto se sobreentiende que es usted. Como por ejemplo le digo, Hilda, please, eh, connect your video. Eh, open, your book. open your book. Turn mm -hmm. on the lights. Turn on the air conditioner. Okay? Those are commands, instructions. They start with the verb and automatically the other person understands that you are talking to you. Por eso cuando usted va en un parque o en un jardín y ve el rótulo que dice no pise la grama, usted entiende que es con usted. Ya implícitamente va. El, el exactly. Interior. And it's the only time in English when we do not use a subject. Y es el único momento en el inglés que no utilizamos un sujeto. For the rest of the sentences or the ideas, we use it. But for the imperative. Okay? Okay. Ahora, y the, this exercise is only say... Imagine, uh, imagine that, that I'm the new... Imagine that Carlos is the new employee of the company and you okay. are telling him the instructions what are his obligations usted le está dando las instrucciones cuáles son sus obligaciones ok, okay. so do it uh, coming early perfect ok I take a lunch at 12 o'clock sequence uh, do accounting ok mm -hmm. Repeat, please. Do accounting. Teacher, I see, I puedo decirlo. Do accounting. Do accounting. Uh, mm -hmm. Lleva la contabilidad. Sí, sí. Okay. Do the accounting of the company. Okay. Uh, sí, uh, Luis, check, check the payroll. Payroll, payroll. Payroll. Ah, uh, payroll. Payroll. Yes. De, o sea, sale que yo le digo, Luis, eh, check the payroll. Yeah, it's okay. Uh -huh. Eso es revisa la planilla. Ajá. Uh -huh. Check the payroll. Yes, Luis, you were asking me something. Me preguntaba algo, Luis. Sí, es que tengo una duda. Eh, en este caso, nosotros vamos a describir lo que nosotros hacemos que yo, yo me quedé con esa duda. Eh, eh, Angélica me decía I, que I was, era como que ella fuera mi supervisor y él me iba a decir lo que yo debía de hacer. O... Yes, in, I mean, I, I set two scenarios for you. Dos mm -hmm. escenarios. Imagínese que usted lo promueve en otro lugar, a mí me contrataron como el nuevo y yo voy a ocupar su posición. And you have to tell me what are my obligations. Y usted tiene que decirme cuáles son mis obligaciones. Uh, I'm telling you like this because your position, your job is the one that you know completely. Su posición okay. es trabajo y que conoce completamente. And you can okay. the instructions according to that. Ok, ahora sí estoy Perfect. claro. Excellent. Perfect. Continue. Okay. Como dijéramos. Teacher, ¿cuál es compañeros de trabajo? Coworkers. Coworkers. Pero así. Prepare el meal uh, with coworkers. Así sería. Prepare. Prepare meeting. Yes, prepare meeting with coworkers. With coworkers. Ah, Excellent. Solo haría falta una. Sería... Yes. ¿En Vanessa finish? You? No, no, teacher. Oh, yeah, no. because I want to hear Vanessa. <laughs> Number six. Uh, Prepare, así dice, prepare, prepare, eh, prepare, este, prepare, como, como digamos, este, prepare, como, what is, este, como, como dar, um, ¿cómo se dice? En las reuniones dan como, como algo de comer, algo así un poquito, ¿cómo se podría decir? Prepare, break, no, eh, prepare. Eso, eso, no. eso. Ajá, set, set the break table. Ah, ok, así. Set, set the break table. Set, 
Stay the break table. Yes. Or the coffee break table. Uh -huh. Set the coffee break table. Table. Okay. Okay. Okay, continue, okay. ladies. I'll be back. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Yes. Questions? Thank you, teacher. Okay, tell me, Douglas, did Roxana explain you your obligations in your new job? Ya le dijo Roxana cuáles son las obligaciones en su nuevo trabajo. Eh, bueno, alcancé, al, alcancé a comprenderle que, por ejemplo, eh, write the reports, okay. mails, eh, son algunas de las actividades que, que ella realiza en su trabajo. Okay. Día ah, con día. Now you have to tell her, imagine that she's the new employee, imagínese que ella es la nueva empleada, and you're going to tell her her obligations. Y usted le va a decir a ella cuáles son las nuevas obligaciones de ella. Ok. Ok. That's what okay. you're going to do. Ok, guys, I'll be back. Okay. Regreso luego. Ok. Ok, Adonai. Ok. Ok, finish. Uh, yes. uh, ya salieron. Ya salieron. So, yeah, uh, because... Adonai, you explain to Raquel what are her new obligations? Yes, because uh, Nancy is my partner in digital. Ah, uh, man. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. should have told me before. I should have told her to another group. <laughs> but, it's, but it's good. Yeah, because it's something that you know. Yeah. And that's easier. That's easier for you to practice because you are talking about something that you understand. Okay? Yeah, I understand. Yeah. Lo is she told her, me about her. Her, yes. tell me about your occupation in the day. About her occupation. Occupation during the day. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, I will go check to the other groups and I think like in one minute we are going to go back to the main room, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. Yo ya no me pude conectar el viernes. Ajá, you said Spanish in my class. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. That is not I don't speak topic. Spanish, I don't understand. Oh yeah, you know, he doesn't, he cannot understand you. Now, but, let's see, you finished guys? I, yes. But I... We we say um, good 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 things with. How do you say? Estamos hablando cosas buenas de ti. We talk. We were talking, or we were saying good things about you. Ah, okay. About, about you is acerca de ti. Ah, okay. This is we. Mm. I'll, oh, yes. I'll try to believe you. I'll try to believe you. <laughs> okay, guys, let's go back to the main room, okay? Okay. Okay. Cool. Let's see. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Who's still in there? Uh, nope. Everybody's here. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see who's gonna be first. Who's gonna be first? Okay, Carlos, you are the first one in my screen. I got you right in front of me. So, Mr. Carlos Cruz, please, you start. Tell me, please, what are my new obligations? Okay, you start your start a job at 8 a.m. Oh, cool. Don't have a departure time. Oh, really? Yes. Ouch. Departure. And departure. Departure time. Okay, let me let um, me let me just write that word for everybody. Departure. No hay hora de salida. Mm, I quit. <laughs> um, 
What else? Take a... Es que me cuesta decir, no, no decir el you. <laughs> yeah, I understand, I understand. Eh, have to take in uh, photos, photos. Okay. Take in ah. photos. Take in photos, taking a video. Okay. And... Uh, can no using the lights use the lights use the lights perfect mm. uh, write uh, copies for Facebook okay perfect well that's mm. enough thank you very much Carlos don't worry relax relax okay that's okay. Let's see. Who's gonna be next? Vanessa. Uh, oh, thank you. Yeah, Vanessa. Hello, Vanessa. Tell me, Vanessa. Um, you, you start activity at 8 o'clock. Okay, perfect. Um, take a temperature. Temperature? Temperature on facial clock. Already? Reloj facial? Yes. yes. Facial clock. Yes. Facial clock. Um, check your email the first. Okay. First um, thing. First thing. First thing. Um, yeah, that's uh, an expression. I'm sorry, Vanessa. That's an expression we use when we have to to ponder that something is pretty important and you say first thing check your email la primera cosa yes <laughs> first thing check your email wow Vanessa is very strong um clean your uh, desk okay uh, with alcohol oh really every day okay. yes Safety, <laughs> safety measures. Those are safety measures. <laughs> That's interesting. Please continue. Um, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. Okay, thank you very much, Vanessa. Okay, the last phrase you use, I wrote it on the chat. La última frase que utilizó la escribí ahí en el chat para que la vean. Safety measures. Medidas de seguridad. Okay. Thank you, Vanessa, very much. Uh, Luis de León Ayala, please tell me. Activate your microphone, Luis. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, no problem. <laughs> uh, my yours activities. Okay, perfect. Uh, review your uh, calculation. 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 Presentation. Pres presentation of uh, ESS. Okay. I. S S S. Uh, okay. Hiring of uh, personal uh, in size system. Okay. Uh, integration of in coin and this coin in payroll. Okay. Payroll account. Uh, uh, payment in electro Bank electronic banking. Okay. ¿Cómo se dice? Perdón. ¿Cómo se yeah, yeah. dice eh, retiro de personal? What you mean? Firing? Eso es despedir. Correcto. Firing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, that's actually that's firing. Firing, firing. somebody. Ah, but, okay, firing of person in but, system. Okay, but when you have the person in front of you, cuando usted tiene la persona frente a usted, 
you don't usually tell that person you are fired. Uh -huh. Usualmente no. no le dice a la persona you are fired. You tell the person uh, the company the company will let you go. The company will let you go. Les escribí esa frase ahí en el chat. De Ana. Yes. The company the will company let you will go. Let you go. That's what you say to the people. La compañía lo dejará ir. Okay. Instead of saying you are fired. Thank you very much, Luis. Let's see okay. who's next. Who's next? Who's next? Uh, Adonai, please. Hi, teacher. Hello, mister. <laughs> okay. Your new occupation um, on diesel is your day start to 7 a.m. Oh, your so. check, your check, the operation is at Panama is all fine. Uh, next, your it's very important to check email and answer the calls operating seven seven a.m. to okay. eight p.m. Perfect. Maybe uh, twenty four hours is have a problem. Oh, uh, no! I yes. have I have to be available all day. <laughs> Yes, it's very important. Do you have two cell phones for that? Oh, yeah. Please continue. Check all the agents of the call center logging to AIM to answer the calls to the El Salvador customer uh, clients. Okay. Assist to two or three meetings during the day. Okay. This attend. is the attend. 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 Sorry. I will write that word. Voy a escribir esa palabra. Attend. Asistir. This is on Monday. Oh. Uh, during the week, is is only one or two. Okay, perfect. Well, you uh, know check what? Your personal... <laughs> yes, yes. Continue, continue. Check your personal projects. Okay. And make some report operation reports. 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 Report. Yes. Well, you know what? Uh, at the beginning, that word is kind of weird for us. Let's do a little exercise before anything. Oh, by the way, Adonai, I quit. Por cierto, <laughs> renuncio. Okay. It's too demanding for me, that word. Okay. <laughs> Look at me, guys. When we pronounce the letter R in English, cuando pronunciamos la letra R en inglés, I want you to do an exercise with me, okay? Quiero que hagan un ejercicio conmigo. Uh, Look at me. I close my eyes and I say the word report. Okay? Now say with say with me in Spanish. Say corazón. Say corazón. Please. Corazón. corazón. Okay. Perfect. Now you are going, I'm going to ask you something. Les voy a pedir algo. Vamos a cerrar los ojos. Cuando diga la palabra corazón. Trate de imaginar que está viendo dentro de su boca y vea dónde coloca la lengua en el momento que pronuncia la R. ¿Ok? Let's do it. Corazón. Corazón. Ok. Did you identify? Ok. ¿Identificamos dónde? ¿Verdad que está yes. tocando, tocando el cielo de la boca? Ok. Perfect. Excellent. Now, in English, the sound is a lot sí. similar. In English, el sonido es muy similar. Just that you don't touch the upper part of your mouth like this. Solo que usted no toca la parte de arriba de su boca, el cielo de la boca, así. You twist it a little bit more. Usted la va a enrollar un poquito más hacia atrás. When you pronounce the R, ¿ok? Como que la vamos a tragar la punta de la lengua, ¿ok? So, say with me. Corazón. Corazón. Did you hear the difference? ¿Pueden notar la diferencia? Yes. The tongue went backwards. Now, say with me. Report. 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 Vanessa, report. say with me. Report. Report. Okay, report. perfect. Now, that O, esa letra O, al principio, cuando comenzamos a hablar en inglés, Vamos a tratar de vocalizar un poco más, abrir un poco más la boca, ¿ok? Con el paso del tiempo, you will be able to be speaking in English and pronouncing correctly without moving that much. Van a ser capaces de hablar y pronunciar sin necesidad de abrir tanto la boca. 
But at the beginning, if you notice, when I'm talking to you, I try to open more my mouth. Si se fijan, cuando hablo con ustedes, trato de abrir más la boca. ¿Ok? That O is rounder. ¿Ok? La O es más redonda. So, say with me. Report. 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 Perfect, excellent. So you see, you are pronouncing different now. Try to remember always that little trick with the R will help you sound better in English. Ese pequeño truquito con la R nos va a ayudar a, a que se oiga mucho mejor nuestro inglés. Because the sound of the letter R is very, it's very alike, but not like in Spanish. Se parece, pero no es igual. As you can notice, that little trick helps a lot. So report and as i told you at the beginning try to open your mouth have you seen the videos in the platform if you can notice mr science when he's speaking you will notice that he opens a lot his mouth it's not because he speaks like that it's for your own benefit so you can benefit from the way he mouth the words. Para que ustedes puedan beneficiarse de escuchar mejor cuando él vocaliza mejor. Okay? So let's see, let's see who's next, who's next, who's going to tell me. Hilda, tell me please, Hilda. You didn't come on Friday, so you are going to tell me your activities. Um, for me, but, but if it's difficult because I didn't start this in the, in the start, but I try to to okay. say the, the exercise and my only um take no use use the mask all day the what mask oh mask? wear wear a mask wear, wear. wear a mask uh -huh. cuando hablamos de algo una prenda o algo que usamos en el cuerpo wear okay wear yeah, okay. like I'm wearing glasses, I'm wearing a shirt, I'm wearing a t-shirt, okay? Okay, and another example, the imperative, what else is the, um, coming early? Perfect. Uh -huh. And another example, like I take a lunch at 12 o'clock. Great. Okay, um, only that. Only that? What about yes. finish working? Um, finish working and so in, in, the, in the exercise or yes. class? No, in the exercise. Finish working at? At eight. Eight? eight? God. No. I'm not going to be in your company. Renuncio. <laughs> okay. No, right. the, okay. Okay, thank no, you very the much. Five, five o'clock. Oh, five o'clock. That's acceptable. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys. Let's see. Questions about the imperatives? ¿Cómo estamos con los imperativos? Clear? Is it okay? Yes, teacher. Okay, great. Believe it or not, our time is almost gone. Creámoslo o no, nuestro tiempo casi se acabó. This class went out pretty fast. Very fast. Yeah. It's because you are talking about yourself, so that's not a problem. You get like fast on it. Como estábamos hablando cada quien de lo que uno hace, so you get like, this is simple, you said. Okay, let's make a review. Uh, we were talking today about words related to medicines, like uh, if I have a sore throat, I take a, a medicine or a pain reliever or a painkiller, okay? Uh, we say aspirin, we say cough syrup, uh, we say painkillers, okay? And antacid, antacid was for my stomach. Somebody sent me to take a pepto, okay? But actually I can take antacid, antiacid, antacid, okay? And then we went to talk about the imperatives. Remember, they are commands, they are orders, they are instructions. 
and they always start with the verb. Any question up to here, guys? ¿Alguna pregunta? No? Okay, well, thank you very much. See you tomorrow. Take care. Los, ve los espero mañana. See you tomorrow. Good night, sir. Good night. Good night. Have a good night. Take care, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.